Hello everyone, welcome to another Java Power Testers tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will learn about do while loop in Java. So in the previous tutorial, we have looked at the while loop and how the syntax of the while loop looks like. And we have also understood the example of while loop by implementing the while loop in Eclipse ID. Right, so this tutorial will focus on do while. So let me go next and here you will see the do while loop syntax and the flowchart here okay so we have seen the while loop so while loop when while loop starts it checks for the condition first okay and based on the condition if the condition is evaluated to true it goes inside the loop and executes the loop that's what while loop was doing now do while loop is a little bit different than the while loop while loop the difference is the code inside the loop will always be executed right so uh, when we say do while so there will be a code snippet or the statements that will be executed for the first time and then the condition will be checked okay so you will have the you know do so in the syntax here you see do and then there is a you know curly brace open curly brace and close curly brace and the statements within these curly braces now with do while loop what happens is if the as soon as the do starts or the loop starts it comes and executes the statements that are mentioned and after that it goes and checks for the while condition or the condition that is mentioned okay so this is the very basic difference between while and do while so in while the condition will be checked only then it will get inside the loop loop it, if the condition is met or you know true if the condition is not true then it will exit the loop but in do while loop it will execute the code inside the loop then it will check for the condition if the condition is still true it will come back execute the code inside the loop again again come back and check for the condition if the condition is true it will again come back and execute the code inside the loop check for the condition if the condition is evaluated to false now only then it will end the loop so you have to remember the difference between while and do while loop this is very important interview question and will be you know asked uh, many times in the interviews so the difference between these two loops is in do while the statements or the execution within the loop happens at least the statements will be executed once okay even you know before evaluating the condition so that's the basic difference between the while loop and do while now let's go ahead and uh, open Eclipse ID and I'll show you the demo of the do while loop as well. Let me create a new class and I'll name the class as you know do sorry do while loop demo. I'll include the main method and so we have seen the syntax already. So if I open this page here, so the syntax is do and then curly brace within the curly brace you have you will have your statements and then you will check for the while condition right so the syntax is pretty straightforward so i'll define an integer first so integer i is equal to one i'll uh, assign a value to the variable i and then the syntax of do while is so do and then curly brace right and within this curly brace so this is your loop right so this is these are the statements within within this particular loop so starting and the ending of the loop these two curly braces and within this i can have my statement so i'll simply print i okay and then i'll use the condition here so while the condition so while i will check for the condition while i is less than 10 say for example right and then semicolon so let me format so control shift f will format the code All right so here this is the do do while very simple Im implementation of the do while so i holds the value of 
1 integer 1 now it will come and print 1 within this particular loop okay so let me uh, you know change it or let me execute this first and then we'll see how it performs right so here you will see it went into the infinite loop right the reason for that is we are not manipulating i as we have seen in the while loop we are also seeing the same thing in do while loop so we are not incrementing or decrementing the value of i so i is always less than one because we have initialized i as one and we are not doing any updates on i right now inside this loop if i increment you know i with i plus plus so it will get increment it will print i so next time it will go again in the loop right it will increment i so it, i will become 2 and now it will check whether 2 is less than 10 yes so it will you know iterate through 10 times unless i is less than you know 10 or i, I is you know equal to 10 so this this time i'm just checking the condition as less than 10 so it will just check up to 9 so if i execute this you will see that it has printed from 1 to 9 in this case okay now if i say for example i want to check a condition um, i is greater than 10 right so i is not greater than 10 okay so in this case the execution or this statement will still get printed okay the value of i which is 1 will still get printed even though the condition is not true okay so that's what the do while loop does so you'll see one got printed but if i use the same thing in the while loop okay so if i want to do or if i want to use while loop so while the condition i'm checking for this condition right so while i is greater than 10 then i want to print i okay so i want to show you the difference between these two loops so in this case with this while loop i'll print another statement which is outside while loop okay and here i'll say outside do while loop okay so let me execute this and then i'll explain you the code okay so you'll see here the first loop right so first is the do while loop in which case it has printed this i the value one has got printed then it uh, checked for the condition now because i is not greater than 10 because the value of i is 1 so it exited the loop and then printed outside do while loop right so this got printed now in the second case where we have used the while loop it checked for the condition up front okay so i is greater than 10 no so that condition evaluated to false and it didn't go inside these two curly braces and did didn't print this value i again and directly came out of the loop and printed outside while loop okay so that's why this statement got printed outside while loop so this is the brief or very you know um, common difference between the do while and while in the while loop condition will be checked up front before getting inside the loop in the do while loop the execution or the first time or the first you know uh, the, the statement that are within the do while loop will get executed at least for the first time before checking the while condition that you have mentioned in this particular statement here or in this particular line number 11 right so that's the basic difference between the do while loop and while loop and how you are going to implement do while in java and while loop in java so that's all about the while and do while loop in Java. We will understand these loops in more detail with our Selenium automation tutorials when we get into the actual you know, web um, automation with Selenium WebDriver.
So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.